Hey there, what's up everyone? I hope you are doing well at home. Welcome back to my class. As you all know that we are revising lesson number 1, The Tale of Benjamin Bunny. Let us see today question answers. Reading a bit answer in brief. First question is, who was little Benjamin visiting? Where did they live? So answer is, little Benjamin was visiting his cousins. What are the names of the cousins? Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. So where they used to live? They lived in the wood at the back of Mr. McGregor's garden. Okay, next second question. What did Mrs. Rabbit tell the little bunnies? What did she say? Old Mrs. Rabbit had once told the bunnies that they may go into the fields down the lane. But don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Next third question. What was Peter wearing when little Benjamin found him? So he was wearing a red cotton pocket handkerchief. Very good. Next fourth question. Why did little Benjamin and Peter hide under a basket? Why did they hide? Because they were frightened by seeing a large cat sitting right over there. Okay. Next fifth question, when did old Mr. Benjamin Bunny come looking for his son? So when did, he, when did he come? In the evening. Very good. Now let us see Bibit. Read these lines and answer the questions. First is, it spoils people's clothes to squeeze under a gate. The proper way is to climb down a pear tree. Who said these words? Who said these words? Little Benjamin said these words. So where was he going? He was going into Mr. McGregor's garden. Very good. Next. Second question. Little Benjamin and Peter started crying. Why did they start crying? Because they got frightened of a large cat. Okay. Next. See if it is answer in detail. First question. How did Peter lose his shoes and coat? What happened to them after he lost them? So Mr. McGregor chased Peter in the garden and took his coat and shoes. So which was later found on the scarecrow. Second question, who saved Peter and little Benjamin? How did he save them? Yeah, little Benjamin's father saved Peter and little Benjamin. He flung the cat into the garden house and locked the door. So well children, these three bits we have completed. So D bit, E bit is not necessary to learn. Okay. Well, that's all for today, children. Grammar part, I'll be explaining you in the next video. So, till then, keep learning, keep practicing, take care, bye-bye.